But you bring only this handful of soldiers against Xerxes? You see, I was wrong to expect Sparta's commitment to at least match our own. Doesn't it? You, there. What is your profession? I'm a potter. So. And you, Arcadian, what is your profession? Sculptor, sir. Sculptor. And you? Blacksmith. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> See, old friend, I brought more soldiers than you did. Exactly. That's like them dudes who don't be want to come out. And, and you know, he got a little, he got the one talent, but he's a talent still. You got yeah. something, but you don't want to, you ain't want to do nothing with it. You'll yeah. put in that work, invest it, mm -hmm. invest in it. They're like, like dudes with certain computer skills. The most I blessed you with certain digital skills, and they'll just go leave it off they they won't make certain videos you right. know and make certain editing right on their videos you know they just go away or certain dudes that speak a certain way you know break down scriptures a certain way or you're able to compel israel to come in kind it's the, and you know you got the brothers that brought back 50 you know he okay he, he went out with his talents yeah and he got a couple of brothers numbers out there and said listen we out here every saturday or yeah. every this day come out and, 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 and hear this word all right most uh is coming he's bringing his son back you know that's that's the investment we're doing on this job which uh, a certain the certain dude with his talent he 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 him just digging in the earth is also him also just going out and just you know what i'm not gonna read powerful lead. I'm not gonna hold signs, I'm just gonna be yeah. out there. You hiding your talents, you know? Even even when Gobble in your daily life, they got ways that you could be digging car it's to let your light shine before man like for example, you might not be up for something. Like some dude asked you something like you smoke weed. Now I don't smoke weed. And I, I don't smoke weed, don't ask me that question. Or uh, even if, I'm gonna use another example. If somebody call you, calling you a nigga on your job, you're gonna tell them, look, don't call me that. That's that's being, that's in the profession because we don't go by no word nigga here. Uh, that's standing up for, for a profession. The dude, that, that one dude had the one talent and, and hit it. That's like that dude who just be all uh, timid and don't stand up for nothing don't got a more was but he got a one talent but he hiding it uh, you know that's that's a nine to five is a late I say a nine to five is a late uh, verse 18 but he that had received one went and dig in the earth and hid his large money verse 19 after a long time the lord of those servants cometh and reckon it with them Verse 20, and so he that had received five talents came and brought out of five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained besides them five talents more. So it yeah. was like, this is what I got. This is what I brought. I got, I, 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 you gave me these talents to preach a certain way. You know, you put me on the house and byways on this job. And look, I, 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 I edified this brother that looks like uh, another nation, but through the spirit of the Lord, He's able to come into this truth of your will, all right? You just multiply those talents. You know, it's a trade, it's a business, it's a job. You know, this is what you do when you're investing in a business. You don't want the business to just sit there, but you want it to grow, you know? Verse 21, his Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will make the ruler over many things, mm. and to throw into the joy of the, thy Lord. Uh. So he was like, yo, you did good. Yeah, he was faithful. He showed his fidelity. So he was ba he's basically, uh, he gave adherence to uh, what the Most High gave him to do. And he was faithful to it. You know, and, and that's that's just what a real uh, uh, worker should be doing, man. You know, when you're really about the company building, you're going to be faithful in, by any means necessary. You know, you're going to do what you got to do. You're going to go out of your way, you know. It's like doing a certain maintenance job and they don't provide certain equipment to clean um, the facilities. You bring your own equipment, all right? You 
you know, you bring certain things that you think that you know is gonna clean uh, the facilities up. That's the thing. That's the same thing in this truth, man. You know? All right. I'm gonna jump to verse 24. Cause it do with the 20 talents, to do with um, the two talents, it's the same thing. He did good. And let's jump to verse 24. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sowed, and gatherest where thou hast not stood. Verse 25. And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. Damn, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yo, he told the Lord, yo, I, I'm sorry, yo, I knew he was a hard man, I was afraid. So, you know what, I just put away this in the earth. Go over there, you could find it over there on George Street in Cortelio Avenue, building 55, the backyard, three feet deep. Yeah, it's like the brother just, you know, I learned the 12th side, I, I learned the, um, the 12th tribe sign, you know, but I, I just went to my backyard and hit it in the back. And I threw my garments in there too. And and, the, and I didn't know we didn't use the apocrypha, but since I found out we used the whole book, <laughs> I took the apocrypha also and hit it there. I didn't tell nobody about the 1611 edition. And that's exactly what he did. Yeah, you know, the yeah. color of the Lord, or oh, I found out the true color of the Lord, but you know what? I actually hit that back when I left I left Sergio Borgia in my house. Hmm. Well, that's what you basically, you, you're doing when you, and, and, and that goes for a lot of you dudes. That's in the truth that don't want to get on, uh, not saying, you know, you forcing yourself to get on a level, but you just being more on fire. You're pushing, you know, right. you're making certain videos, you know, and um, just edifying, you know, the elect of Israel, man. That's what it's about. It's our job to do, man. You got to keep moving on up. You can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, you know. Well, verse 26 his lord answered and said unto him the wicked and slothful servant mm -hmm. thou knewest that i weave where i sowed not and gathered where i have not strewed verse 27 thou artest therefore to have put my money to the exchanges and then at my coming i should receive my own with usury take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which had ten talents now you see that and that's a lot of you dudes that fall out of the truth man a lot of you dudes that be, be you do got the the platform to, to build and, and get better, but then you 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 uh you know you guys start for ego dehydrations. You know you guys want to uh sit in the elders seat. You know you guys don't want to respect certain things that the elders say, the apostles, the GMS, right. and and you hide your talents. You go get in your feelings and say, you know what, I'm not doing this no more. I'm not doing that. And the most I just take that spirit from you. Then now you just become a reprobate right. know, a bugged out dude in the world Time. you know you gotta stay with your job man you gotta stay focused on the task so you don't get terminated man Time. you know you don't wanna get fired you know if literally too fired yeah right right <laughs> right right yeah so um basically let's get into a few uh, uh men that were called also into office and had to do the will of the lord you know which they did. Let's go to um, Sirach 45 and 1. There's Sirach 45 and 1. And he brought out of him a merciful man to found favor in the sight of all flesh. Even Moses, beloved of the Most High, a man whose memorial is blessed. Yeah, so basically it says, From, uh, it's from Jacob's descendant, the Lord raised up a godly man who won the favor of everyone. Uh, loved by the Most High, people alike. That man was called Moses, right? Whose very memory is a blessing, you know, to this day, right? Verse 2. He made him late to the glorious saints and magnified him so that his enemies stood in fear of him. The Lord made him a glorious, he made him glorious as the angels, because the saints are the angels, right? You know, and they elect. It says, it made his enemies fear him. Go ahead. Verse 3. By his words, he caused the wonders to cease. And he made him glorious in the sight of kings and gave him a commandment for his people and showed him part of his glory. So when he, so there in Egypt, at his commandment, the, the, the disaster struck, right? It says, um, basically it's saying, um, um, the Lord made kings hold him in respect. The Lord gave him his commandments. For his people and showed him 
the dazzling light of his presence. Yeah. Verse 4. He sanctified him in his faithfulness and meekness and chose him out of all men. Yeah, the Most High Yahweh, Bashim Yahshua, chose Moses out of the whole human race. All right. Yes. And consecrated him because of his loyalty and hum um, humility. So the Most High chose uh, uh, Moses to that office, you know, to that job, that profession. Yeah. Verse 5, he made him to hear his voice and brought him into the dark cloud. So he let him hear his voice. He let him in the he let him into the dark cloud where his face where, where it was where he was face to face, right? Yeah. Chariot huh? Yep, chariot huh? And gave him commandments before his face, even the law of life and knowledge that he might teach Jacob his covenants and Israel his judgments. Yep, so he gave him the commandments and the laws to give life knowledge that gives life to knowledge so that Moses could teach the, the covenants, the, the, the contracts, the regulations to the Israelites. Verse, right? God. Verse 6. He exalted Aaron and holy man like unto him, even his brother of the tribe of Levi. Now, this is a, another person that was born into office. Alright? Another one that had to do with that profession, which was Aaron. The Lord raised up Aaron, a holy man like his brother Moses. Which he was from the tribe of uh, uh, Levi. Right. Verse 7 An everlasting covenant he made with him and gave him the priesthood among the people. Yep. He, he beautified him with comely ornaments and clothed him with a robe of glory. Yes, yeah, so and the Most High gave him an internal covenant. He, I mean, he made an internal covenant with him, giving him the privilege of serving as priest to the Lord's people. He honored him by clothing him with uh, magnificent robes of fine ornaments. So that's truly another calling that the Mosa has set up and brought someone into office. All right? All right. All right? He put upon him perfect glory and strengthened him with rich garments, with breeches, with a long robe, and the ephod. Come on, perfect, perfect, perfect in their splendor. He granted the he granted him the the symbols of authority. All right, the, the linen shorts, the shirt, the robe, with the pomegranates around the hem. All right, verse nine, and he compassed him with pomegranates and with many golden bells round the bow, mm -hmm. that as he went there might be a sound and a noise made that might be heard in the temple for a memorial to the children of his people. Yeah, so the Mosa basically put gold belts around around his hem, so that when he walked. Their ringing would be heard in the temple, and the Lord would remember His people, man. And you know, that's also a good uh, office to be in, man. A worthy office when we are called, right? Um, verse ten with an holy garment with gold and blue silk and purple, the work of the embroider with a breastplate of judgment and with urim and thummim. Yes, yeah, so when the, uh, the Lord gave Aaron a scarce robe of gold and blue, purple. Embro embroid embroidery the breast the breast paste with the Roman thermal and that's the, how he was able to uh, you know connect with the most hot yeah love it. the twisted scarlet the work of the cunning workman the precious stones graven like seals and set in gold the work of the jeweler with a writing and grave for a memorial after the number of the twelve tribes of Israel of the tribes of Israel. Come on. So he had the the red yarn spawned by an expert, right? It says uh, also the precious stone with names engraved on them, mounted in a gold setting by the jeweler, placed on the uh, breast piece to remind the to remind uh, the Lord of the twelve tribes of Israel. Right. And that's what uh, they they wore back then, you know, and, and it was all sanctioned by the Most High. Right. He set a crown of gold upon the mitre wherein was engraved holiness and ornaments of honor, hmm. a costly work, the desires of the eyes goodly and beautiful. Yeah, he that was verse twelve, right? Yeah. He gave him a, a turban with a gold ornament engraved with the words dedication to the Lord. It was expertly crafted, a beautiful work of art, 
and it was a, a high, uh, it was a very high honor to wear it. Come. Before him there were none such, neither did any, did ever any stranger put them on, but only his children and his children's children perpetually. Verse 14, their sacrifices shall be wholly consumed every day twice continually. Yeah. So before Aaron's time, it was you never they, there was no beautiful things ever seen. No one but Aaron and his descendants ever wore them. Or ever will. You know, when it's when it's talking about the 14, it's like the grain offering is to be presented twice a day and burnt completely. Right? right? Verse 15, Moses consecrated him and anointed him with holy oil. Yeah, so Moses basically ordained Aaron to office by pouring the scarce anointing oil over his head. And that was also uh, part of the job description, you know, that he was supposed to do. Right. You know? Right? This was appointed unto him by an everlasting covenant. Yeah, and an eternal covenant was made with him and his descendants. And to his seed, so long as a heaven should remain, that they should minister unto him and execute the office of the priesthood and bless the people in his name. Yeah, so they were supposed to, uh, they made, he made a covenant with him and his seed, his descendants, you know, that uh, the priest would bless the people in the Lord's name, you know? Right. Uh -huh. Verse 16, he chose him out of all men, living to offer sacrifices to the Lord, incest, and a sweet savor. And we begin this video by saying how not everyone can just do this job, man. You got to be called. You see, it says the Lord chose Aaron out of the whole human race, man, to offer sacrifices. He, he had him burnt uh, fragrant incense to remind the Lord of his people and to take, uh, take away their sins. And that's a beautiful job right there. Kind of. The best job I've ever had. Kind of. Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse 17. He gave unto him his commandments and authority in the statutes of judgment. And, he, uh, and, he, and that he should teach Jacob the testimonies and inform Israel in his laws. Yeah, so he gave... Uh, he entrusted the commandments to Aaron, man. Right. So that's a that's a that's a heavy task to do, man. He entrusted the commandments to, 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 to Aaron, keeping and gave him authority. He gave him authority to make legal decisions to teach the law, to teach Israel the law. Mm -hmm. Alright? Verse 18. Strangers conspired together against him and maligned him in the wilderness. Even the men that were of Dathan's and Abiram's side, and the congregation of poor with fury and wrath. So you had wicked dudes, man. You know, once while the people were in the wilderness, you had an angry group of jealous outsiders, man, who conspired against Moses. And, and those men were uh, Dathan and Abiram's. Abiram's, Korah, and they also had their supporters. Right? right? 19. This the Lord saw, and it displeased him, and in his wrathful indignation were they consumed. Yeah, he, so when the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, when he saw that, when he saw what they were doing, and became angry, he became, you know, imagine how angry the Most High got. He did wonders upon them to consume them with the fire with flame. Yeah, so so furious that he performed a miracle to destroy them <laughs> in a blasting fire. Most I just blasted them, don't you know? All right. It was 20, but he made Aaron more honorable and gave him an heritage and divided unto him the first fruits of the increase. Especially he prepared bread in the abundance. Yeah, so he rewarded Aaron again with a special honor. Right? Right. That says the right of offering of a first, I mean the, the first produce, so that the priest should have enough to eat. And that's exactly what he, uh, uh, the Mosad gave Aaron. Yeah. Howbeit in the land of the people he had no inheritance, neither had he any portion among the people. What verse is that? 22. Verse 22. Alright, Khan. Howbeit. We also with, uh, Read verse 21 again. Verse 21. For they eat of the sacrifices of the Lord which he gave unto him and his seed. 
Oh, okay, okay. So the food, the food is, is sacrificed offered to the Lord. The Lord gave this to Aaron and his descendants. Right. Basically. Okay. Huh. Howbeit, verse 22. Howbeit in the land of the people he had no inheritance. Neither had he any portion among the people, for the Lord himself is his portion and inheritance. Okay, so basically Aaron, unlike the rest of the people, was to inherit no land, you know? Okay. No special portion of his own. Uh, the Lord himself would be all he needed, man. Your brother should be in that spirit too, not, not looking to... Uh, gain anything uh, doing his work. We just need to help us in our shop because these times coming for Right. Right. Verse 23, the third in glory, it's Phineas, the son of Eleazar. So this is another uh, man, uh, you know, the Lord that was called into office. All right. I was called to do this profession, his vocation, his job, his duty. All right. Right. Because he had zeal in the fear of the Lord and stood up with good courage of how when the people were turned back and made reconciliation for Israel. Yeah, so only Moses and Aaron were more famous for their intense devotion to the Lord than Phineas, right. son of Eleazar, right? He brought, he basically brought about forgiveness for Israel's sin by standing firm and brave determination when everyone else was in rebellion. So he was the only one that just stood there like, you know what, I'm going I'm to do this work. You know, kind of, kind of. verse 24. Therefore, was there a covenant of peace made with him that he should be the chief of the sanctuary and of his people, and that he and his posterity should have the dignity of the priesthood? Yeah, so <laughs> and so the Lord made a covenant with him, right. valid for all time to come, that he should keep charge of the sanctuary and of his people. Right. You know that he and his seed, his descendants, should hold the whole, the office of high priest forever. Right. You know that, and that's a, that's a beautiful thing right there, man. And that's what all brothers is uh, hoping for, man. Yeah. Right. Verse twenty-five. According to the covenant made with David, son of Jesse, of the tribe of Judah. So unlike the covenant that was made with uh, you know David, you know, son of Jesse. son of Jesse. The tribe of Yahweh, mm -hmm. yeah, that the inheritance of the king should be to his posterity alone. So it was, it's not like where it says, um, the kingship passed only from the from father to son, right? Yeah, so the inheritance of everyone should also be unto his seed. So the priesthood was to pass from Aaron and to all his descendants. Come. Yeah. It was 26. Yahweh gave you wisdom in your heart to judge his people in righteousness. So now, basically, praise to the Lord. You know, you have to praise, praise him. You know, give thanks. Yeah. That their good things be not abolished and that their glory may endure forever. Yeah, so praise to the Lord who is good, who is going to crown you, right? Who crowned you with glory with this knowledge and understanding of knowing you a Hebrew Israelite, man. You know, knowing that salvation is only for Israel, huh. right? That you got to pray to him that he may give you wisdom to right. judge his people fairly when we go out and do this job, all right? Right. So that their success and your authority may continue for all time huh. to come. And this is the, the, the occupation and the profession that um, brothers is moving in. You know, 2017, man, this is my occupation. This is my, my duty to do. Okay. The unprofitable servant. So right. just keep pushing double for the job that we, we, we gotta do, man. Right. And that's the occupation we did. You got anything else you wanna say, y'all? Huh. Yeah, that was, that was just about it. Aaron had a powerful lot. No? Huh. Alright. Um. That being said, all okay. praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, double honors to the apostles of GMS. 
Uh, salutations to you, Aki, and that's pushing this truth to hope for a leg. Right. You know, uh, keep pushing in the spirit. Right. You know, salutations to the brothers in the light of the Gentiles. Kind. Keep pushing in, in, in your job, you know, seek no reward till we get into the kingdom. Right. We're all on profitable service. And, and clock in, stay clocked in, man. No breaks. Kind. kind. No time for breaks, man. You know? Um, right. With that being said, Shalom. Shalom.